Baby, 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 baby. Right, stop. Hey, baby. Woo! Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, Rhett. Hey, Rhett. Okay, now you can hold it. Okay, now you can hold it. Okay, good job. You see, baby? You see, baby sis? You see, baby sis? Mom's getting her vitamin D right now. Yes, she is. She's getting her vitamin D. Yeah. Say, look at me, mommy. I'm a cameraman. Be careful, mommy. Be careful in there. Be careful, mommy. See? See, mommy? See her? Woo! Woo! Let's go back to baby sis. Hey, baby sis. You're okay. You're okay, baby sis. You're okay. Mommy's going to make dinner. Then daddy's going to go to the office and throw away boxes. And then go to the old house and take care of the dogs. Good job. Good job. Okay, let's turn it off. Good job. All right, guys. Um, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Um, and all the soon-to-be fathers, happy Father's Day to you. Um, everybody, tonight, pray for all the babies that are being aborted. Um, pray that their fathers step up for them and, uh, and save their lives from the deaths that uh, Satan and the abortion doctors are getting ready to deal them. Uh, save... Save those babies. Save those babies. Um, amazing Father's Day. Aubrey made me an awesome pizza. She got me a shirt that says Dad Man. Pretty stoked about that. Not wearing it right now. Saving it for when we all go out for the first time. Doing your mileage. Always do your mileage. And then today, um, going to go dump off some boxes at the office dumpster. And then go check on the dogs and stuff. And yeah, uh, that's really it. Um, processed some files today. Checked in on some files. Made sure the final walkthrough is scheduled for the Inez closing that's coming up. Um, I might go get that sign lock box tonight too. Yeah, I'll have room in my car. I might go get that sign lock box tonight. Yeah, I think I might do that. That way I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. So, uh, today's video, um, still staying on the same theme of researching movers, moving companies, things of that nature. Today, we're going to talk about ways that movers distract people. So, um, hopefully, there's enough light in here. I haven't tried the E light this late at night before, so hopefully there's enough light in here. So, in my experience, when they're packing up a room that they're taking things out of, and you happen to be in there, one of the movers will distract you with a question and say things like, Hey, can you tell me what in this room you want me to take out? And a big key giant question mark is if they've already asked you that question okay number one if they're asking you questions about a room that they've already asked you questions about there's something fishy going on okay protect your belongings watch those movers you can't trust them you cannot trust them I in my own personal experience I trusted a company way more than I should have and, uh, and I was not treated right. So, um, if they're asking you the same question two, three, or even four times, one, they're either on drugs, which they could be, or two, they're stealing your stuff. So pay attention to that. Another way that they can distract you so that they can help you misplace things right that that's the that's the term that uh, the owner of the company used with me I've misplaced them um, no you didn't misplace your stuff you were burglarized you were burglarized and it's not right and the moving company should not be doing that especially since they're being paid to move you they should not be burglarizing you in addition to being paid to, to move you and getting a tip so, all right, the second way, they'll move the truck. 
they'll, they'll move the trunk and, and leave stuff in a room that, that is completely obvious. Like, they might leave a giant bookshelf in a room and not even take it. But they move the truck? Like, why, why did you move the truck? Well, they're distracting you. They're making you come tell the one that moved the truck that, hey, there's a couple things left. We don't need to move the truck yet. Why the others are taking your misplaced things. Okay? So, um, that's two things. The third thing that I've experienced myself, wow, the car in front of me is going way fast. The third thing that I've experienced myself is they'll say they're looking through your drawers to make sure there's nothing breakable. And they'll say it with sincerity and a seemingly honest tone and body language. They're not supposed to be looking through your drawers. So, three ways that movers take advantage of people and distract them from, from knowing that their belongings are being taken is the first one we talked about was one employee will distract you and take you back to a room that they've already asked you about two or three times. That means something's definitely going on in the room that they keep distracting you from being in. So that, that's really important to pay attention to. Number two, they'll move the truck for no reason. The, the truck won't even be full yet, and they'll just move it. Like, that, like, why are you moving the truck? They're distracting you. They're distracting you. Pay attention. And number three is they'll just blatantly lie. They'll just blatantly lie and say, we check the drawers to make sure there's nothing breakable when they're not supposed to be going through the drawers at all. They're supposed to wrap the furniture and then load it up. They're not supposed to go through the drawers. So, three ways that movers distract sellers when they're taking their belongings. Alright guys, I um, hope this is helpful. hope the video before this was helpful on how to research your movers. Um, another thing I thought about later on after I did that previous video was walk the truck. Don't let those trucks out of your sight when they're moving from one house to another. If they want to go get gas or if they want to go um, get lunch or something like that, follow them. Follow them. Those are your belongings. Those are your family's heirlooms, your family's property. Follow them to the gas station. Follow them to the, to the lunch. Don't let those trucks out of your sight. That's the first thing. Number two, after they're done unloading, after they're done unloading, oh, another way they distracted me was um, they asked for something to drink. Well, I offered to go to the gas station to get them something to drink. I should have never left my belongings alone with those people. I should have not trusted them. I, 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 I can't believe I went and got them a drink. I, I, I paid them what they asked. I gave them a tip. And I got I went and got them drinks. And I was burglarized. Okay? Don't, don't let that happen to you. So, um, I'll add that back in to the clip later on. And I don't even remember what I was talking about. But I'll do some editing and wrap it all together. So, don't let the trucks out of your sight. And when you're done... When they're done with the move, you walk those trucks. You walk those trucks and you look in those cabs. Walk the trucks, look at the cabs. You're the person who hired them. They are supposed to do a job for you. There's nothing wrong with you walking the trucks and looking at the cab. Trust people nowadays, but you can't. You just can't. So you double check everything when you're when you hire movers to move them. Alright guys. Josh Barnett, Better Hopes Garden Real Estate, uh, you know, Paramount, protect yourselves, especially when you hire movers. All right, guys, thinking about buying or selling a house in Oklahoma, give me a call, 405-315-7965, 405-315-7965. Have a great Father's Day. Bye. All right. You want to know one of the things I love about my office?
their dumpster. I really love their dumpster. I use it all the time. Um, it's worth at least 10% of what I give my brokerage is being able to use this dumpster. Um, yeah, because if not, we'd be making a lot more trips to the dump or I'd have a bigger burn pile. So let's uh, get this open. Uh, there's a lot of room right there. Look at that. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna set you up on the car and then uh, I'll start unloading. people come over to my house and I don't want people asking hey the box is still there you can even create an ad that says if this ad is running the item's still available and people are still gonna ask you hey is this item still available that's just what people do so um, I'm gonna flip you around on my GoPro that I misplaced as per the movers um, I had a night lapse mode I'm gonna see if the Yee Light has one. And I'm gonna have you guys uh, night lapse with me to pick up my sign lockbox. If, if the seller says it's okay, if it's too late for me to bother the seller, then I don't wanna do that. But I'm gonna put you on the ball and joint knuckle right now. And we'll do a night lapse on the way to pick up uh, my sign lock box. All right, I will see you guys on the next clip.